If I was to ask you, what do you think is the safest city in the world? What would you say? Would you say it's a city from one of the most civilized, modern countries in the Western world? Would you say it's from one of the countries that have discarded religion? Or perhaps you think it's a place that's in the virtual realm? Yes, the metaverse. Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Well I'm afraid I would have to disappoint you because the safest city in the world according to a UK based travel insurance company Insure My Trip, the city is Medina. Yes that's right, Medina is a city in Saudi Arabia. It's the second most holiest site in the Islamic religion and out of a total of 65 cities Medina came top and it was rated with a perfect 10. Now Medina is special for so many reasons. Yeah, but I want to start off with this first reason which is the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him made dua, made supplication for this blessed city and we believe that any supplication that the Prophet makes is most likely to be accepted mate. And not to mention the Prophet himself lived there for about 10 years and he's buried there as well. There's a graveyard where most of the companions are buried that's called Jannatul Baqi which on the day of judgment we believe that the people that will be raised first will be from there and it's a place where whoever gets buried there there's mo most likely they're gonna go to paradise and we believe near that vicinity is Riyadhul Jannah which is a place yeah, where we believe that it comes from paradise yeah, and it's accessible to the people you can go and you can pray on there as well. And not to mention again according to a prophetic saying the Antichrist when he comes physically that's right he will not be able to enter Medina, it's been, it's been made like a safe zone. And of course we believe it's the cradle of Islamic civilization. Yes that's right because the Prophet was forced out of his home city of Mecca and he was accepted by Medina and its people and the Prophet gave so many virtues of this great city and I Alhamdulillah have had the great fortune of visiting it and Subhanallah the feeling that you get, the atmosphere Subhanallah is remarkable there. So I was looking on these websites and none of them actually said what could be the possible reasons for the crime to be low. I mean let's look at the law in Saudi Arabia. In Saudi Arabia they criminalize sexual assault to such a degree that a law that came into fruition at 2018 said that it can land you two years in prison with a $27,000 fine. Now if you compare that with western nations no matter how modern or advanced they may be punishment is not that much. And here's another article where perpetrators are named and shamed in public. I mean that's unheard of here in the west I don't know what they would say. They say ah it's uh, privacy mate. Well why don't you talk about privacy to Facebook and Apple who are constantly in the news for violating the privacy of their own consumers. So guys like I posted on my Twitter page Islam works. It's a practical religion. Love it or not love it Islam works. The final revelation of Islam which is the Quran is unchanged, it's preserved, it will not be changed. The prophetic sayings have a chain of narration and they are meticulously preserved which cannot be said about any Abrahamic religion. Yes that's right, no other Abrahamic religion, Christianity, Judaism make this claim. In fact even if you look at the uh, old ancient religions they can't do this either. So I would invite you to look into Islam and if you're already a Muslim to appreciate this gift that you have, learn about it. And if you've got problems and hardships that you're doing, understand and realize Islam has the solution. Sometimes you speak to people they may not be able to articulate it properly but Islam does have the solution. Don't give up mate. Yeah let's leave it there until next time. Assalamu alaikum.